There are many different topics and subjects of Himalayan art, but one of the <clears throat> kind of more interesting uh, subjects that that has persisted. It's persisted since the beginning of Buddhism up until the present times, and that is flying monks. Now, it's not just flying monks. There are others who, who are depicted in art as flying, but it, it's just the persistence of it over time and, and the sheer number of narratives of uh, individuals that fly, and it's part of their um, hagiography, part of, part of their narrative myth. So really the first is Shakyamuni Buddha. Shakyamuni Buddha, um, not so much his life story, a little bit, but, but uh, uh, very much in the Avadana stories, where you find many, many uh, narratives with him flying in the sky, flying with his students. Then we have, <clears throat> We have the two main students. We have Shariputra and Modgalyayana. These are the two that are always, uh, almost always pictured uh, standing um, to the right and left of the Buddha. Modgalyayana uh, stands on the Buddha's left side, and he's often, um, he can be depicted a little bit darker in skin tone than Shariputra. Shariputra was the most important uh, student for, for learning and philosophy. And uh, Modgalyana was uh, was the main student, or the student that excelled in magic and and flying and and in miraculous uh, uh, deeds. He was even chastised at one point by Shakyamuni Buddha for flying too much, and causing alarm with the local uh, local farmers and local uh, village people. Okay, so we also have the, the, the Mahasiddhas. We have the 84 Mahasiddhas. Of course, we have at least five different systems of, um, of organizing the names. But we have Shantideva. Shantideva is famous for levitating off his, off his cushion while teaching the ninth chapter of the Bodhicharya Avatara, uh, his own, his own um, writings. And then after that, after uh, his teaching session, then he flew away into the sky completely and left in Nalanda Monastery. But we also have Gantapa and we have uh, Krishnacharya. Both of these are known to fly in the sky. Now there's many, many others, um, uh, but but they're, they're not as uh, famous for flying because uh, possibly the story in their biography is very short or it's a one-time deal. So, so, uh, but there are many, many of the of the eighty four Mahasiddhas from the five different systems that fly in the sky. Then we have the uh, Padmasambhava and his twenty five disciples. So Padmasambhava himself is known for flying in the sky, but we also have Namka Nyingpo, Yeshe Wongpo, Dorje Dujum, and Yeshe Yang. And so the, these four are the famous ones who are often depicted in uh, paintings at the top of the composition where you have these four are, are the uppermost on the right and left of a composition uh, flying in the sky. Um, then we have Milarepa. Milarepa, we have, he's known for flying, but we have one very uh, famous story of where Milarepa uh, representing Buddhism and uh, Naro Bunchung representing the Bun religion, th they meet and they have some uh, kind of uh, discussion, and then they they enter into then they have a little bit of conflict, and they enter into a competition, competition of magic and dominance, who's better, and uh, <clears throat> it also involves Mount Kailash, and and who should have dominance over Mount Kailash, and so. Uh, Naro Bunchung is famous for riding on a drum. That's his sort of vehicle for flying. Milarepa is just using his white cotton cotton cloth to fly with. Um, anyway, according to the Buddha story, which and this is a Buddha story, then then Milarepa succeeds and takes dominance over Mount Kailash. Naro Bunchung is defeated. Uh, and then becomes a Buddhist and has to live out his days on a smaller mountain, uh, slightly distant uh, away. Now, it is interesting to note that, since we're on this topic, Naro Bonchung is not actually mentioned in any Bun literature, cultural documents, or records. Um, so it's really not clear whether or not this is a Buddhist creation. This is some kind of uh, just narrative to bolster Milarepa. 
it's not really clear. Uh, so there's no record in, in, the, in Bun for, for this. But we, we actually do have one Tibetan Buddhist family um, currently in the, in the uh, 20th, 21st century that does claim to be descended um, in some fashion from Naro Bunchung. Anyway, so this is just an introduction to the many, many, many different uh, uh, types of flying monks and flying lay people and Mahasiddhas and famous people such as Milarepa and Padmasambhava that we see depicted in paintings and murals.